back at it again with the scary animations, man. Ooh, I'm terrified. This video is about to be scarier than my childhood. Scarier than my Instagram photos. Scarier than your mom? Yeah, probably. So please click that subscribe button if you haven't already and drop a like on the video. And comment down below something you're afraid of. I'm afraid of commitment, Hey, No, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm actually afraid of spiders, so yeah. And I've got a very special announcement for you guys. It's a giveaway. Woo! Guys, I'm working with the new app Firework on a variety of exclusive content. Firework's been my go-to app for short form content. This contest is going to be a month long from today all the way until August 12th. I'm teaming up with Firework on this giveaway and the rules are simple. All you have to do is download the app. Just click that first link in the description below. Follow me on Firework at Dang Matt Smith and watch and repost all my videos and post a video introducing yourself using the hashtag Dang Matt Smith. And that way I can easily find your videos. Over the next month, I'm gonna be posting new rules. So be sure to keep up with my YouTube videos. That way you don't miss a step. And now for the giveaway prize. Drum roll, please. Hey, I will be giving one lucky winner a shout out on Firework, and I will be verifying an account and following them back. And the biggest prize of all is I will be giving away a mystery box worth $2,000. The winner will be picked on August 12th based on who follows all the steps and who creates the most creative videos using the hashtag DangMattSmith. Super excited for you guys to see my new exclusive content on Firework. I'm gonna be posting a new video on there every day for the month of Matt. Woo! But now, let's get back into the video. Woo! But I hope you guys are ready to get scared. Let's get our blankets and let's do this. I'm a grown man, I ain't getting scared, let's go. Oh! Okay, true road trip horror story animated. I was on a road trip with my friend Tom throughout upstate New York. That music. On our second night of driving, we were taking some peaceful back road through the woods because we were tired of the noisy highway. So as we were driving down this narrow, dilapidated road, Tom suddenly really needed to use the bathroom. Ah! Oh. I asked him if he could hold it, but he said that if he held it any longer, his bladder would explode. Ew! So I just sighed and tried to find like a gas station or something. Mm -mm. There was nothing to be seen though. So I was thinking about pulling over and letting him piss in the woods, but finally I saw lights cutting through the darkness up ahead. It was a 7-Eleven, thank God. Before I'd even parked the car, Tom flew out the door and raced inside. Jeez. I realized while waiting in the dark car I was actually hungry, so I pulled out some change from my pocket. It would at least be enough for a bag of crappy Cheetos or something. <laughs> yeah. So then I went inside. As I was walking through the store examining everything on the shelves, I felt a tingly feeling on my neck. Like I was being watched. I turned around and saw a bearded man in a yellow suit casually slip into the other aisle. Okay. I rolled my eyes, picked up a bag of Cheez-Its, purchased them, and walked out back to my car. Get out of there, man. Looking at the dark woods behind the 7-Eleven. Tom had been gone forever, so I texted him and he told me he was just finishing taking a huge <laughs> which was classic Tom. I was just crunching on my cheese it's when I heard somebody go, Psst. Psst. What? Oh I quickly God. looked around but saw nobody. <gasps> Finally, I spotted a man peeking his head around a tree in the dark woods. Mm -mm. His face was all dirty and he had glassy eyes. Ew. We stood staring at each other for what seemed like the longest time until he said, No, I got in my car and locked the doors, texting Tom to hurry the f*** up. Mm -hmm. I told him there was a creepy weirdo outside the car and he was all like, alright, be right over. Wow. Later on, he walked out the doors and climbed into the car, and I hit the gas to get as far away from that f***ing place as possible. Mm -hmm. As we were driving, I looked back one last time in the rearview mirror and saw three cloaked bulky men standing in the trees surrounding the 7-Eleven. Needless to say, I still have no idea what the hell was going on at that place, nor do I ever want to find out. Heck no, man! Uh-uh, jeez! -uh, 
I ain't never going to a gas station again. This is why you bring an empty water bottle, guys. You know, if you got to go to the bathroom and you're on a road trip. And for uh, the girls, you just... Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I'm still working on that. Guys, let me know how creepy that was on the old dang scare scale on a scale of one to poop your pants. I gave that one a solid seven. That one was, was kind of creepy. The narrator's voice was pretty good. Like, he was creepy like the whisper. It, it got me, it got me. Who knew this is what goes down at the 7-Elevens, dang. I'm a grown man. I ain't getting scared. It was like some drug deals. Or, you know what, maybe he just wanted to show him, like, his new app or something like something fun I don't know he wanted to show him like the new puppy that he got that's all out ah uh, yeah probably not probably not but seriously if a stranger says come over here I want to show you something don't ever do it okay don't ever do it you better find a parent or find a guardian find your friend or somebody and stick with them all right hey hashtag stay with the group okay moving on to the next one here we go when I was eight years old I used to live in my grandma's house in Ecuador Many of the neighbors would talk to my parents about seeing weird stuff in the house, like shadows moving around the windows when we weren't home. Mm -mm. The first thing that would come to our heads was that someone must have broken into the house, but nothing would ever be missing. That must have. Of course, they didn't think that there was someone breaking in. They were sure that our house was haunted. Everyone even refused to come inside for parties or any other special occasion. They told us to get a priest and to get rid of any bad spirits. We didn't take their warnings as something important because my parents don't believe in those kinds of things. Although I would hear someone going up the stairs at night, our stairs were really old, so they would make a loud sound when someone would step on them. However, when I checked, there was nothing. I would just run to my bed and cover my head with the sheets until I fell asleep. One night, someone started knocking on the door really hard and screaming. We got really scared as it was 12.30 a.m. and everyone was asleep by then in our neighborhood. Jeez. It was extremely rare that someone would be up at that time. My dad took his shotgun and told my mom and me to stay in my room and not move. Mm -hmm. I was scared for my dad's safety, but I felt relieved when my dad said my neighbor's name. He informed us that a water pipe had broke in our backyard and the water was spraying his house and broke one of his windows. But come on, man, you know a shotgun ain't gonna take out a demon? Like, like, what are you doing? Get the holy water, get a Bible, get something, get a, get a crawl, I, I don't know, something, dang. Not today, Satan. Gonna try to shoot a paranormal demon with some dang bullets and a gun? Boy, you better get that out of here. Broke one of his windows. Wow. He was nice about the situation and even said he'd help us fix the pipe. My dad got the shovels, as the pipes were underground, and we had to dig to see what was wrong and how we could fix it. Jeez. As we started digging, they realized that they needed other materials, and they went to get it, leaving me alone in the backyard. No. There was barely any light back there. The only source of light we had was the moon and one light post a block away from my house. Jeez. I was pissed off. I mean, how could they leave an eight-year-old boy there by himself in the dark? But I didn't say anything about it. <laughs> about ten minutes had gone by since they left, and I was wondering what was taking them so long. They were only getting some materials after all. But as I was going to go back inside, I saw something oh, moving oh, really fast at the corner that? of my eye. Oh. I froze. I wanted to run, oh but I couldn't. I wanted to scream. But I couldn't. What? All I could do was move my eyes. I started oh, to freak out, no. looking around to see what the hell was running around me. Heck I didn't no. see anything. It was as if there was nothing there at all. But then I looked to my right, and I saw oh something God. that haunts me to this very day. It was a demon, in my opinion. It was so tall, around seven or eight feet tall. What? It had long, skinny legs with a really buff body. Oh. It also had very long spiral horns, and his eyes shined in the dark. Jeez. I still couldn't move. The thing ran by me, looked at me, but it didn't do anything to me. It just looked at me. It could have been a goat or a sheep. I've never seen one so big or one that walks on two legs like a human. No. It ran, and I hid behind a big tree by my neighbor's house. <sighs> Finally, I could move. I yelled at the top of my lungs while crying hysterically. My dad came running with his shotgun in hand and asked me what was wrong. 
I explained what I saw to him, but he didn't believe me, nope. nor did my mom. But someone did. My neighbor told me that he thought nothing happened to me because I'm a kid. As time passed, I slowly got over it. I moved from that house and moved to New York. My grandparents sold the house and I left that experience in the past. Seriously. However, that's not where this story ends. What? In my sophomore year in high school, I had a nightmare. The thing that I saw that night was in it this time. I could only see its head as it was hiding behind the big tree. He said three words that'll haunt me until my time comes. What? It said, you can't hide. I woke up from my nightmare and headed to school. While in school, at around 12.30 p.m., there was an announcement. A classmate of mine had been killed in front of my school by a car without brakes. Oh my God. I turned pale as I thought my nightmare may have something to do with the incident. I was scared and even went home early. I told my parents about it, but this time they took me to a priest and he said he'd give me something in three days. Mm -hmm. Every single day I had the same nightmare until my priest gave me a blessed cross and I haven't had any nightmares about the thing anymore. However, every night I sleep with the covers over my head. Call me a coward or anything you want, but the thing still hasn't left my mind. Those three words haunt me till this day, Jeez. making me wonder when I will forget or move on from the thing. Ah, dang, man, gosh, dang, what? Man, I ain't never going to Ecuador or New York. That's ridiculous, man. Jeez, you guys better stop messing with that paranormal stuff. After seeing that thing, I kind of miss Annabelle. Jeez, what happened to the good old days? The good old days where it was just a doll, not a dang 10-foot demon. Whoa, man, on the scary scale, how was it for you guys? On the scale of one to poop your pants, let me know in the comments down below. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to click that subscribe button and drop a like. And I'm making some never-before-seen content on fire. Work. I'm also running an epic giveaway so please click that first link in the description below download firework and let's get me to 150,000 followers check below in the description for a step-by-step -step guide to winning the epic prizes worth $2,000 but really hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter at dang Matt Smith and I'm gonna see ya next time peace